بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Be careful of opening the door to the shaitan by saying if I would have done so but we have to learn to accept the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المؤمن قوي خير وأحب إلى الله من المؤمن ضعيف وفي كل خير احرص على ما ينفعك واستعن بالله ولا تعجز وإن أصابك شيء فلا تقول لو أني فعلت كان كذا وكذا ولكن يقول قدر الله وما شاء فعل فإن فإن لو Taftahu Amal al-Shaytan Ruahu Muslim In this hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu He said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said The strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer And in both of them is good Strive to do those things which benefit you And seek refuge in Allah and do not become weak. For verily, if something befalls you, then say, then do not say, only if I would have did such and such and such and such. However, say, Qadr Allah wa ma This is by the will of Allah and as He pleases, subhanahu. For verily, saying lo or saying if opens the door to the to the to the shaitan, meaning that the shaitan preys upon us when we open that door, when we don't accept the qadr, that it can lead even to kufr, and you disbelieving in the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by, not, by saying, oh, if I would have did this, this wouldn't have happened. If I would have married so-and-so, we would, we would have many children. If I would have made this decision, I would be financially well off. But all of that is in the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what happened to you was not going to miss you and it was in accordance with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even the decision that you made. So we have to learn to accept the qadr, the divine cree, decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask for his guidance and his forgiveness and may Allah strengthen us in iman so that we're more willing to accept his uh, divine decree. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.